Welcome to the Vibrant MTHFR walkthrough video. This is Suzanne Barker with the Vibrant Clinical Team. Today I'm going to discuss the Vibrant MTHFR results and interpretation. MTHFR or methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase is a genetic marker that is Mendelian inherited. This means that a person will receive one copy of each gene from each parent. For MTHFR, we're measuring SNPs or single nucleotide polymorphisms for two genes, 677C greater than T and 1298 where A greater than C. The greater than designation is genetic nomenclature describing which allele is wild type or normal and which allele is mutated. So for 677, C is the normal or wild type allele and T is the mutated allele. For 1298, A is the normal or wild type allele and C is the mutated allele. The terms homozygous and heterozygous refer to the individual genotype or individual result and describe the extent of normalcy or mutation. There are three possible combination for each gene. Homozygous wild type, which means there's no mutation, two copies of the normal allele, heterozygous mutant, one copy of the wild allele and one copy of the mutated allele, and then homozygous mutant, where there are two copies of a mutated allele. Below in the chart, you can see 677, the homozygous wild type is C and C. The heterozygous mutant type is C and T, and the homozygous mutant type is T and T. For 1298, the homozygous wild type is A and A, heterozygous mutant is A and C, and homozygous mutant is C and C. When both genes are heterozygous, meaning there are one copy of the wild and one copy of the mutated allele, we call that compound heterozygous. When you look at this, um, these lab results, I am going to give you two examples. The first one, the MTHFR, this patient is homozygous mutant for the 677 gene, which means he has two copies of the T. He is also homozygous wild for 1298, which means he has two copies of the A. So this patient has for 677, has two copies of the mutated allele, and for 1298 has no copies of the mutated alleles. It's, so this is homozygous wild. On the next example, of this patient has for 677, um, one copy of the wild allele and one copy of the mutated allele. So that looks like a C and a T. For the 1298 gene, He's also heterozygous, meaning he's got one copy of the wild allele or an A and one copy of the mutated allele. So you can see as in the last example uh, on the full previous slide, this person is compound heterozygous. So we've got the first example, homozygous mutant, homozygous wild, and the second example, heterozygous, compound heterozygous. You can see as well, it's only going to report heterozygous. It does not say heterozygous mutant, but that is a given because when they're heterozygous, that means there's one copy of the wild and one copy of the mutated. Increased risk with mutations. Some of the increased risks are decreased production of l methylfolate hyperhomocysteinemia or elevated serum levels of homocysteine, which is a primary concern with MTHFR mutations because it's an independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease due to endothelial dysfunction, hypertension, coronary heart disease, and deep vein thrombosis. Those with homozygosity or both T genotype for MTHFR677 gene polymorphism have a 70% reduced MTHFR activity and have most increased risk for hyperhomocysteinemia. Individuals who are compound heterozygotes for 677 and 1298 
have a 50 to 60% um, increased risk for hyperhomocysteinemia, deep vein thrombosis, and stroke. Due to the decreased production of neurotransmitters in the brain, mutations may increase risk for psychiatric disorders, deficits in memory and attention, migraine headaches, insomnia, and chronic fatigue. Elevated homocysteine is a commonly known risk factor contributing to recurrent pregnancy loss, preeclampsia, infertility, Down syndrome, and other pregnancy complications. So MTHFR mutations can be contributing to any of the above. Medications affecting folate metabolism may be more toxic in those individuals with an MTHFR mutation than non-carriers. I hope this walkthrough video will be very helpful as you continue to test your patients for MTHFR mutations. The reason I am providing this video is that because of our certification agencies, we are not allowed to put this on the report itself. So we want to provide you with this interpretation and we also have a PDF guide as well. Thank you very much.